action. It's a very difficult time for all of us. But one thing I can tell you is that this will pass. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody does, COVID-19 will pass and our nation and our people shall rise again. One thing that was brought to my attention, and I don't often do this type of video, um, but one thing that was brought to my attention which has caused me to say, look, I need to share just a very brief word with you is this. A lady by the name of Belinda Gates, the wife of Bill Gates, made a statement just yesterday saying that she sees dead bodies all over the streets of Africa. Now, I want to tell you this, that there's a spiritual principle involved here. When you say you see dead bodies all over the streets of Africa, you're actually projecting that, and it's a spiritual principle. When David met Goliath in the field, Goliath spoke about what he would do to David, that he would cut him up and feed his flesh to the birds. David responded by saying that, no, I will cut off your head with your own sword and I will defeat you. And then they went into physical battle. So for every physical battle, before you enter it, there's a spiritual pronouncement. That's why you have to pronounce things before you say or do anything or before you go forward. Now, she has made her pronouncement. We know what she wants to do. We know what her husband is doing. We know what their plan is concerning their magic vaccine, which is actually designed to cull the population of the world. And I will say this to Belinda Gates and to Bill Gates. The Bible says, Who is he that saith a thing, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord God of hosts has commanded it not? It is not in the streets of Africa that you will see dead bodies. We reject it, and we return it back to you and those that sent you. We are children of the living God. There is an invisible shield over our continent and over our nation, Nigeria. That shield is the shield that has been put forward by the watchers, by the generals in God's army, by the pastors, by the intercessors. And we shall continue to pray, and you shall not prevail. We shall overcome. It is not our children, not our people that will be in the streets. It is yours, by God's grace and in Jesus' name. Amen.